Despite being much larger than the stock market, the bond market gets much less attention from short-term traders. That's a shame because bonds are great trading vehicles. This article will provide you with four specific bond trading strategies, will explore bonds, and argue why you should trade bonds. Bonds are a great trading tool because they are complementary to stock trading strategies. So let's get started. First, is bond trading profitable? That depends on the strategy. You need to backtest and verify your strategies before you commit money, and this includes the examples in this video. We provide no investment advice. Second, what is a bond? When a bond is issued by a company or sovereign state, the borrower receives funds from investors which are lenders. The borrower promises to pay interest on a fixed schedule for a specific duration and to repay the principal when the bond reaches maturity and the capital is returned to the lenders. Thus, a bond is different than a share of a company. In case of bankruptcy, bondholders are paid before shareholders and thus bonds are less risky than stocks. Also, shares are generally deemed riskier than bonds because swings in price are more severe. Thus, bond trading should be less risky than stock trading. Because of less risk, bonds have not performed as well as stocks. However, there are different types of bonds. Municipal bonds, government bonds, corporate bonds, junk bonds, etc. The bonds are not equal. For example, some junk bonds behave muck like stocks and are the exception. Government bonds are the safest. Thus, we regard bonds as safer than stocks. In this article, we only look at long-term US Treasury bonds. What makes the price of bonds move? That depends on credit risk, interest rate risk, and inflation risk. When interest rates go up, the price of the bond goes down. Why would you trade bonds, and is bond trading profitable? Treasury bonds, for example, are less volatile than stocks, but the advantage of investing in them is that they typically have a low correlation with stocks, making them a complementary asset class. In the chart, the red line shows the 25-day rolling correlation between S and P500 and long-term US Treasury bonds, while the black line represents the 200-day moving average. As shown, the correlation fluctuates over time, but the black line remains close to the blue line, which indicates zero, indicating a lack of correlation. Let's look at some bond trading examples with specific trading rules. Although the following strategies have been backtested using the ETF that tracks 20-year treasury bonds, the ticker code is TLT. It might be possible to use the corresponding futures contract, provided that you adhere to the same official trading hours as TLT. Our first bond trading strategy was published a few years ago on our website, but it has performed well since then. The trading rules are simple. We buy on the seventh last trading day of the month, and we sell at the close of the month. This simple seasonal strategy has worked well and has shown a reasonably steady rise in the equity curve. The annual return is 5.45%, which is higher than buy and hold, including dividends reinvested. This is not bad for being invested only 28% of the time. But there is a new twist to the strategy. Let's make a second back-tested strategy. At the end of the month, we reverse our bond position and go short and we cover at the close of the seventh last trading day of the month. Again, we see a steady rise in our equity, even though TLT has risen during the back-tested period. Our short position made 4.41% annually, despite TLT rising 4.6%. Short is very difficult to trade in both bonds and stocks, so this is a very good result. Let's now combine both strategies to make our third strategy. We buy TLT at the seventh last trading of the month, and we sell and reverse to short at the end of the month. We cover the short position on the seventh trading day of the new month. When we combine the strategies, the result obviously improves. 100,000 grows to 735,000 over the 20 year period. We believe seasonal patterns are one of the lowest hanging fruits in trading. The strategy has crushed buy and hold. You're invested only 61% of the time and you still get a 10.25% annual return, which is over double buy and hold. Even better, the short position has worked well. The best part is that this result is most likely non-correlated to stock market returns. If we employ the last combined strategy on S&P 500, we get negative returns. This is a strong indication you might want to diversify your strategies to other assets than stocks. Let's now look at the fourth bond strategy. It's a long bond strategy where we buy TLT based on two variables, one price action variable 
and one seasonal variable. We exit the position on strength. As you can see, it has performed well. The 227 trades had an average gain of 0.44%, which equals 4.8% annual returns. Also, please notice the low max drawdown from an equity peak. We are not revealing the trading rules because it's part of our membership program. The four strategies are examples of how you can make money trading bonds, but one of the main reasons for including bonds is diversification. They are complementary to many other assets. Let's show you an example of our membership strategies. The equity curve shows the return of three different S&P 500 strategies combined into one portfolio of strategies. The average gain per trade is 0.7% and the annual unleveraged return is 11.5%. This is good, but we can improve it by adding bond trading strategies to the mix. By incorporating complementary bond trading strategies, the annual returns rise from 11.5% to 19.2% while also reducing drawdowns. However, there is no guarantee that the future replicates the past. Nevertheless, our video demonstrates that bond strategies provide diversification to a portfolio. Furthermore, integrating bond trading strategies might decrease drawdowns. Stocks might be more profitable than bonds, but combining them is the most rational thing a trader can do. Coming up is a video about three mean reversion strategies in the stock market that can provide you with some trading ideas. That's all for today. And don't forget, this is no investment advice. Please do your due diligence. And last, don't forget to like and subscribe.